Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm doing a art journal page, more like a painting in my art journal, um, for the Amazing Race Art Journal Challenge. We are in Italy, and I am doing the kiss. So the kiss is a painting by Francesco Hayez, I'm not sure how you say his name, but uh, I think it was done like in 1859. It's considered romanticism. Anyway, um, one of our options for our challenge was to do a painting or paint in the style of somebody. And so I just thought I would try this one. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just drawing it out. I am looking at it um, on my iPad and um, drawing it from there and yeah I picked a figure and you know how well I am at those <laughs> but I thought this one wouldn't be too bad because you can't see their faces very clearly so um, that wouldn't be as difficult Now I'm just kind of creating the background. Um, I draw this out and I don't put, I don't think I put the line behind them where the wall um, changes direction. But I come up with something in the end. So I think now I've got the basic shapes in. We're gonna kind of paint the background in first and then we'll work on the figures. Save the best for last, right? Or my hardest for last. I'm just trying to come up with the colors that would make um, the background kind of match the uh, background in the original painting. Doesn't I don't do too badly. Well, I guess I should look at the background again. <laughs> it's not quite the same, but you know, you get the effect. So it is kind of a brick wall, like large and, and smaller bricks. And I start painting them, and then I decide they're mostly, except for the bottom, they are mostly one color. So, after I get the bottom in, I just paint the whole wall one color, and then I we'll put the cracks in. Okay, maybe it was a couple rows of brick. And they might be a tad orange. This color that I put in for the majority of the bricks is a closer match, maybe still a little bit dark, but a closer match to 
what the original was supposed to be. I don't know, I looked at, I googled the picture and saw several different um, shade variations of the um, image. And then when I was googling, um, well, the original video I watched uh, that talked about it talked about the hidden images, so I was trying to find that again. And what I found was um, something that told about three different paintings that were painted um, within a, quite a few year period. I assume they were all by him. Um, and they all have little variations. It was interesting. So now I have my wall in. I'm gonna create a little bit darker color. I think this is where I fill in the... Now, in the original, they say that there's... They can, you can see a figure back in this... Um, in the shadows. Um, I couldn't really say anything that I could determine was a figure, but there were some ambiguous shapes. Of course, I am looking, you know, on, at a photograph on the internet. So I do try to put some shapes in there later. And sorry, my uh, the memory card I was using, I think it's the memory card that causes my camera to stop recording. So I've I've got two different memory cards, and one of them causes it to stop, the other one doesn't, but it was full. And I didn't realize that that was what my problem was. I do have kind of the bottom of this cut off, I'm sorry. I need to raise my camera, I didn't realize it at the time. in the ground. Probably should have put the feathers in after I drew his hat, but or painted his hat, but And I get painting, I'm like, his hat's the same color as the background, so I changed that in a little bit. So add a little brown.
hard time doing black hair because I like to see the streaks and the waves and when it's black it's really hard to get that. <laughs> Knocking over my paint with my brush. I didn't even think about the shadow, and then I went and looked at the picture again. I'm like, oh, yeah, they're casting a shadow. I should put their shadow in. Hello. This is where I remember that there was a change in the wall, so I try to create it. I didn't want to put a lot of color on there, so I did kind of a, a wash, but um, it kind of leaves it messy. But I decided in the end it kind of looks rustic that way, so um, I don't mind it too much. doesn't match the original that way, but it's not going to match the original exactly anyway, because it's me painting it. I have so much water in there. It's not really good to have that much water um, when you're painting with acrylics. If you want to thin it, you should probably use like a matte medium or a gloss medium. Matte medium if you're using matte paints, which this is, to thin it rather than water. You should get that weird kind of splotchy effect. I'm just trying to add highlights to the corners that are in the light, just so we can see the corners. And I'm going to paint his leg. <laughs> um, they say that his leg sticking out like that means he is leaving. He's on his way going somewhere. I guess he's kissing her goodbye. I think I reworked this coat a lot because in the original it's very dark but it's definitely got a reddish cast to it so I work at it quite a bit to make that more red next to her hair so it you can tell the difference I think I should have left the coat more this color than going darker with it because in the original it's more this color. But I just keep working it and end up making it really dark.
See what I mean? I just keep going darker and darker. I realize when I start painting his leg down there that I left space that I shouldn't have. So I've got to cover that up and turn it into the ground or the floor. And I blend that out. Put a little bit of red back into the coat because it's gotten so black. And now I'm just trying to work on the faces. His face was pretty dark and mostly in shadow, so I put that on and then I um, create some shading. that I make them so tiny. <laughs> so, just adding more to his hair, bringing it kind of forward just to hide some of that face. Still putting some shadow down there. decide to put a few highlights and of course that's way too much too white so I blend it out a little bit I think that kind of helps so you can tell there's hair I don't know now I'm moving over to her hand it needs to be paler than the man and then I'll do her face making making it really pale that um, color I put out is called eggshell or vanilla. Number two. And then darkening up for his hand. detail you will get on the faces. And 
So now we're going in and doing the dress. I'm sorry it does cut a little bit out of here. The camera stopped again. I apologize. But I put my darker blue in first and then I add some white to lighten it up. See it jumped there, but then it jumps again and she's all painted. Right about now, sorry. And highlights in there without going completely white. I'm doing more shading on the wall, just skipping around. I try to darken her neck and then I don't like it. Put a few shadows on the hand. Decide that um, her belly sticks out too much, so we're just gonna crop that right off. <laughs> Wish they could do that to my belly, <laughs> but I thought that helped a little bit. And I decided to add more to the hair. And to his hair. And there we go! The Kiss, my version of it by Francesco Hayes. Hope you liked that. If you liked it, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe.